let us introduce polynomials so today we are going to see how the polynomials look like how they behave so let us start with polynomials let us go ahead and see what what uh, expressions do we call as polynomial so for that let us take the first uh, first point where uh, we will take a layman's perspective and we will try to understand what a layman will think of a polynomial in order to do that let us first take a layman's perspective and see what layman will think so for a layman a polynomial is some kind of mathematical expression which is sum of sum of several mathematical terms then we ask the layman what do you mean by mathematical terms the answer is each term in this expression each term in this expression that is mathematical term in this expression can be a number a variable or a product of several variables okay. so according to a layman each term this mathematical term can include a number a variable or product of several variables these are the things that are allowed okay. so basically then it is basically let us take uh, one example for this and let us see if I have 3x hmm, this is a number and an, uh, some variable so I have a constant 3 I have some number like x square I have some term like x square y all these contribute to something called polynomial okay. Now I take, take a more significant number that is say x square plus 4y square plus 2z plus 10. Will this contribute to be a polynomial? Yes, because it is sum of a number which is 10 here, a variable, there are many variables 1, 2, 3, there are 3 variables and product of several variables in particular here we have x square and here we have y square so this also qualifies to be a polynomial okay. then according to this suppose uh, what I will write is here is let us say some expression of the form t raised to half plus t is this expression a polynomial a layman will say yeah yeah it can be a polynomial because t raised to half if you square this number you will get this correct okay? so this is one variable this is another variable and therefore we are actually having a polynomial okay? so then we uh, went and asked mathematician what is a mathematician's perspective of a polynomial so that we will define as a definition so a mathematician said a polynomial is nothing but an algebraic expression in which only arithmetic is addition subtraction multiplication and this is interesting he mentions it as natural exponents of the variables natural by natural i mean the way we define the set of natural numbers in our first week I mean natural means 0, 1, 2 and so on. So this is my set of natural numbers which includes 0. If you want to emphasize it, you can put it as n naught. Otherwise you can call this set as set of whole numbers or set of non-negative integers. So uh, the definition can be twisted like this will have non-negative integer exponents. If you don't want any ambiguity, we can say that non-negative integer exponents of the variables. So then we, if we go back to that earlier expression which is t raised to half plus t, the all other expressions will qualify to be a variable. But this expression will not qualify to be a variable. Why? Because this t raised to half by definition is not a natural number, it is a rational number. We will come to it later, but this cannot qualify 
definitely this cannot qualify as a polynomial if we go by this definition. We have already seen many examples. Let us reiterate them. One example was constant 3, another was 3x square, another one was 3x square plus y square plus z, stuck 4z, then take plus 10. All these are qualified to be very uh, to be polynomials. But this expression does not qualify to be a polynomial. So this we will consider later as well and we will give a rational reason why it is not a polynomial. So we now we know what is polynomial. Okay. Now it is time to see why is the name polynomial. Why do we call this as polynomial. That is what we will see now. So let us go ahead and see something about the nomenclature. Why do we call them polynomials. So polynomials essentially is derived from two words. One word is poly, second word is nomen. This is a Greek word. This word is a Greek word and this has roots in Latin. The word poly essentially means many. And the word nomen essentially means names or terms. So in our case, it turns out to be terms. So a, an expression having many terms is called polynomial. Okay. Now each term of the, because it has many terms, each term of the polynomial will be called as monomial. Each term of a polynomial will be called as monomial. Then if the polynomial has only two terms, then you will call it as binomial. If the polynomial has only three terms, then you will call it as trinomial. So far, if you can label them, you can label them. But in general, we will treat them as polynomials. And remember that we will include this also. A monomial is also a polynomial for us. We will not distinguish between monomial and polynomial. Of course, monomial enjoys some different set of properties, but we will keep them with polynomials. So let us take one uh, example. For example, a polynomial in one variable can be represented as a n x raised to n, this is the highest term, a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1, a 1 x 1, a naught. I am assuming that this a n's are not equal to 0. Otherwise, the if they are 0, then the polynomial may extend to infinity. I do not want that. So, I, I am assuming that these a n's are 0. Now, if you can rewrite this using the notation of summation in this manner and therefore, this a m will have a specific name and it will be called as coefficient of the term. Because this is a polynomial in one variable, x is the variable we are interested in, x is the variable and this m is the exponent of the variable. Now remember in order that this term to be a polynomial, this m should always be a natural exponent. By natural I mean the one that is non-negative integer. If it is not non-negative integer, then I cannot classify this as a polynomial. Okay. Let us go to the next step and see some examples of polynomials and try to identify whether the given expressions are polynomials or not. So here is the question about identification of polynomials. Identify whether the followings are polynomials or not. The first one x square plus 4x plus 2. What can you say about this? So the first let us take term by term x square 4x and 2. So the all these are monomials involved in this polynomial. So when I take x square it is nothing but variable x multiplied by x. So it is a product of two variables. 
so this is okay when i take 4x it's a number and a variable so this is also okay i don't have any and finally this is just a number so together and it, uh, the expression given is sum of these that is x square plus 4x plus 2 the expression given is sum of these therefore this is a valid polynomial for me let us go ahead okay again the same expression has come x plus x raised to half so now you look at the terms that are involved x and x raised to half now if you look at the terms involved x and x raised to half then this it's simply a variable raised to 1 x is x raised to 1 right so i don't have any problem this is a valid term there, there is no issue with this x raised to half this term is not a valid term because it has rational exponent so this is not correct so this second expression 2 is not a polynomial why we need to justify we need to write a reason because the second monomial has rational exponent this is an interesting observation so this doesn't qualify to be to be a polynomial so i can erase this this is not a polynomial okay now some people may say that what is what is a big deal i can put x raised to half at say t and you can rewrite this expression as t plus t square but remember when i am putting x raised to half as t i am putting an explicit assumption on this x that is this x should be greater than or equal to 0 so i cannot define this polynomial on the entire real line so we will refrain from doing such assumptions and therefore it won't be a polynomial let us go to the next slide, uh, next example this example okay so let me erase the previous ones so that i will have some space we will write all the terms as usual x y xy and x cube we will analyze the each monomial one by one is this valid let me change the color is this valid yes it is valid because it's just a variable y yes it is valid just a variable product of several variables product exponent natural exponent of single variable yes it is valid so according to me this and this qualify as a polynomial and this do not qualify as a polynomial okay. so we have identified what are the polynomials and how they look like so our identification part is complete in particular we are dealing with polynomials having real coefficients because all the numbers that i am giving you are real numbers so just remember this fact we are only handling polynomials with real coefficients if you go to the further branches of mathematics you may have polynomials with simply integer coefficients you may have polynomials with complex coefficients we are not dealing with them so this is how we will identify whether a polynomial whether a given expression is a polynomial or not let us go ahead and try to describe what are the types of polynomials that we can encounter we have already seen them we are just enlisting them for the sake of completeness so there can be polynomials in one variable which will typically look like summation over m is equal to 0 to n 
a n x raised to m so that let me rewrite it so the, that was our expression summation over m is equal to 0 to n a m x raised to m so this this particular thing falls into that category what is what will be here in this particular case a4 is 1 a0 is 1 and uh, all others like a1 a2 and a3 all of them are 0 okay. so this is how we will describe the polynomial so this is a polynomial in one variable you can encounter a polynomial in two variables for example we have already seen some examples this is a polynomial in two variables and you can have similar expression but now you will have a m b m and a m n or something of that sort to indicate the powers of these exponents so we will not indulge into a mathematical representation of this but you can have polynomials in two variables in a similar manner you can have polynomials in three variables or more than two variables. So here is an example of a polynomial in more than two variables. And these are the types of polynomials that you may encounter with real coefficients. So this summarizes the topic of representation of polynomials. Now let us go ahead and see some further properties of these polynomials.